What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be ceramic coating the new car. So the car did come from Georgia and so from Florida to Georgia we did have some bugs and some stuff pick up along the way so when we first got back we did give it a nice detail but looking back at it you can't see it right now because the sun's not really shining on it but there are some swirls in the paint so we're going to get that all fixed up as well as take care of the wheels get those cleaned up and everything like that and then we're gonna get the entire car ceramic coated I have never ceramic coated anything before so this is gonna be my first time a little nervous but nothing that can't be fixed so let's go ahead and let's get started with the wash All right, you guys, so we did just finish washing the car. Now we have to clay it and then dry it and then I guess get it prepped for getting polished and compounded. So let's go and do that. So far, she is looking so pretty. Got all the bugs off in the front there, so it's looking really nice now. And we can start seeing a lot more of where the raw scratches are. Like that one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So. I don't actually know if that could even come out. Feels like a pretty deep scratch. But it's all right, it is a used car, so what more can you expect? But let's go ahead and get the clay bar done and then we can go ahead and start compounding. All right, you guys, so we did just finish claying the car and drying it and everything like that. So she is basically ready to go now. We basically are just about to get ready to compound it. The compound that I'm going to be using is Jeskar Correcting Compound. Um, I got it from Obsessed Garage and it's I've done some reviews on it. It seems to be pretty good and I mean it says that it's safe for all paints and everything like that. I've seen a lot of people use this and I feel like it'd be a good fit for this vehicle. And then the polish that I'm going to be using, I think I'm going to be using Adam's polish or is it... I have two polishes. I'm going to decide which is probably better to be used on this. So then we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we could finally go ahead and ceramic coat it. Ceramic coating process should be the fastest part. And this should take the longest part. So we'll go ahead and start this. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it just took about an hour and a half compounding and polishing the car. We did just put on our first coat of uh, ceramic coat. I don't know if you could see it there. Yep, you could definitely see it. Waiting for it to kind of dry and haze over there. And then we're going to start wiping it down. So... We're just going to go ahead and do that and finish on with the vehicle then.
All right, you guys, so we just finished this ceramic coat. Let me think now, three, six hours later between the whole process, washing, claying, polishing, compounding, and then putting on the ceramic coat. Took roughly about six and a half hours or so, I'd say. But this paint looks absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it is sparkling. Like, damn. I know, there's chips in it. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> but no, this uh probably the best thing ever. I don't know why I hadn't done this on my other vehicle before, but this looks absolutely amazing. We got mainly almost all the scratches out in the swirls. Um, there's a couple deep scratches in the paint that weren't able to come out. But for the most part, all the swirls are out. And we didn't do the uh, the front splitter just because of how much the splitter already is like scratched up from like whoever drove it before hitting stuff I guess so we're probably gonna be switching that on anyways then we're gonna be uh, ceramic coating it but other than that this car turned out absolutely amazing now it does have to stay here for 24 hours before it is able to be driven at all um, the cure time just for it to like settle in is about four hours but then the full Cure time, I guess you could, I don't know what to call it. It's uh, 24 hours before the vehicle could be exposed to any outside elements, like sun, water on it, stuff like that. So we can't really do anything with the vehicle for another 24 hours, but once we are done with the 24 hour cure time, we're gonna see how it reflects. Now, the ceramic coat I went with was Adam's Polishes Ceramic Spray Coating. Now, I do know this isn't as strong as some of the other, um, brands out there or other ceramic coatings out there. I have done my research on this one before. It does last a pretty good amount of time, but it doesn't give a really solid coat like some of the other ones out there. So this one is kind of just like a little test, I guess you could say. I mean, it still did the job amazingly from what we're looking at. We're gonna find out in 24 hours or so once it's fully cured. And then we'll really put it to the test. But this is going, once the ceramic coating wears off on this, we are going to have it professionally ceramic coated as well because we are going to still be modding the car and it is still probably gonna get scratched up and all the mods going that are going to be going on it is also going to be getting ceramic coated as well. Give you a little hint. So, that's why we didn't go with something super permanent. We went with something a little bit lighter. Now, the Adams Polishes still did an amazing job and all their products still did amazingly, but I do know that this is something that isn't going to last quite as long as some of the other ones out there. So, when that time comes, we are going to be getting it professionally ceramic coated as well as the wheels as well. So, we will see in 24 hours how the ceramic coat lasts up. All right, you guys, so we are back and it has been about a week now, a little more than 24 hours. So, let's go ahead and put this to the test. So. We do just have our water bottle right here. Hopefully it's good. Oh, there we go. We got some good lighting there. Let's see here now. Oh my gosh. Look at the way it just beads up right there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see that. But look at the way it's just... Wow, I'm impressed. We go over to the hood now. Literally almost nothing. That is actually incredible. I think I would call this pretty successful if you ask me. <laughs> But that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. If not, go ahead and hit the thumbs down button just so I know what you, what you guys are liking or not. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave it in the comment box down below. And feel free to message me on Instagram or anything if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.